one of the things I like doing most in Arena is healing my teammates. But I can't do that when they get hit so hard. This dude got hit for almost 24k. That is not the theme of the video this time. I paired up with a Rep Paladin and a Warrior, and things did die. Not always, but they did die. And if they did, it was quick. And once again, I want to thank everyone who left positive feedback on add-ons or other tips. As you can see, there is no clicking in any of these videos. There are keybinds, and there are wonderful add-ons. And in this game, there is a prop paladin who just simply couldn't heal more than a priest. I don't know how. So for some actual commentary on a real game, Warlocks hurt. Warlocks and Shaman, together, they hurt. This game was pretty light on me. I'm surprised that the Warlock really didn't do much to me. The Warlock didn't even dot me once. Yes. Yes. In this game, I decided to run Thought Steel. I normally don't, because I feel like Dome is more beneficial, especially during teams that can interrupt. But when I see a mage, and if the plan isn't to target them, then I find it very beneficial to steal Poly from them so that I don't get, get Poly if I miss Shadow or Death. Aside from Shaman heals and the mage cutting my DPS around, this rogue decided to stay up for ever. And where I mentioned Thought Steal in the last video, I didn't run it in this case, partially because I didn't change it, but also because there are a lot of interrupts in this, especially with Unholy Death Knight. So running Dome of Light gave me the best chance of surviving because I'm not going to get interrupted. There's no delay in casting and reduced damage. The most notable part of this game was fear mind control combo. Had I not mind controlled, that priest probably would have come back up and got the hunter back to kill out. A helpful part of arena that I find mandatory is to mark. As we play through this, the reason the warrior dies is because the priest is on the other side of the arena, but is also behind a pillar. Line of Slate is very important. If your teammate is going to die, even if there's a killing blow on the horizon, pull them back. Resetting is always better than having to come back from a loss.
since I wasn't being targeted in this game, I figured that I would try to help them a little bit. Maybe some DPS, but as soon as I saw they were targeting the Paladin, I figured Master Spell would be coming. His bubble was still up, and he didn't even use it. So there you have it. Disc Priest, Rep Paladin, Arms Warrior, 3v3. I'd like to do some more videos playing with a Warlock and possibly another Warrior. But until next time, if you like this video, consider subscribing. And thank you very much for watching.